The Orishas never truly left, but they are having a big comeback now. These African gods are finding new life in contemporary Black imagination. Even the violence and demonization from white colonizers couldn't erase them. Orishas have a long history and a lot of it hidden or demonized by white colonizers. However, we've been seeing these African deities pop up in the mainstream. Did you see these African deities in recent pop culture? In the music world, it's hard to miss the ways Beyonce finds inspiration in the Orishas, particularly Ocean, the deity known for her beauty. There's also a hip hop duo named Ocean, whose uplifting message and Afro-Bohemian aesthetic has been refreshing. Another duo, Ibei, also references the Orishas. This duo are twins. Ibei is the Orisha that presents as twins. They also make an appearance in movies. Consider the British film Oya, where Orishas return as superheroes. We see the Orishas on TV as well. In American Gods, four Orishas are represented. Shango, Ocean, Yamoja, and Aie, helping the enslaved characters to freedom. Spike Lee also referenced Orishas quite often in his Netflix series, She's Gotta Have It. These African gods refuse to be erased from our memory, despite the very calculated attempts to do so. We can learn more about our ancestors and culture through these spiritual references and maybe find strength within them. Share this video and follow We Are Push Black for more black history. Peace, y'all.